name is Rocky Rosco. I play for the Boss Eagles, eighth grade. All right. So what about this season is special for you? Um, honestly, I learned a lot for the season. Um, going with a new team, learning all new players, all new coaches. I think learning a lot from each and every one of the individuals I've been around. Where's my bag? Um, I'm new to the school. Um, I played with all new players, all new coaches. I kind of came into that game thinking that I have something to prove. So I needed to make sure that I brought it that game, and I think I did. But I mean, it was a good game. We came off short, but I got my licks in. journey uh, watching him go from just a little kid to this young man just succeeding at what uh, at his dreams it's it's amazing to be a part of as far as the daily routine starts out with uh, food you know we got to make sure the the nutrition aspect is covered we want to make sure he gets uh, big and strong gets some meat on his bones he's kind of skinny you know we want to make sure he could take hits from big DNs and linebackers so yeah I don't food. like those <laughs> We had to make him wear rib pads for the first time this year. He refused to because he said you couldn't see his abs. But man, I'd rather have him uh, <laughs> have his ribs intact than show off the abs, you know? Oh, well, he's such a blessing. Uh, I don't want to cry. He brings so much joy on everything. This is just one aspect of his life, being able to see what he's able to do on the field and in football and as a leader. But, you know, we've gotten the absolute privilege of seeing him grow into this young man and really being a part of that. He sees how hard his daddy works. He sees how hard I work and we don't accept mediocrity in anything. And he has delivered on seeing that and doing that for himself and always going above and beyond. You know, you mm -hmm. heard him earlier. He doesn't just do the basic training. What's extra? How am I going to learn? How am I going to grow mentally? Um, to continue to thrive, and he's doing that. What is special about your teammates this year? Man, these guys are my friends. Um, they Not only do I enjoy playing with them, but I also enjoy being with them in the classroom. I make sure that my social, my guys around that I hang with are good to me. And you know, just athletes, hanging around my boys, always love it. Hudson, I go to Boston in eighth grade, and rocks my barber. Um, really good, he's probably the best quarterback that I've played with, and practiced with, better than high schoolers. And he's really advanced for an eighth grader. So really far, strength, he can read the plays really good. All right, let's talk about him as a friend. I see you at his pad, oh, and yeah. I see you guys connect here. We're talking oh, about yeah. being his friend. So right now we're neighbors, and it's fun. It's really fun because we met at a football, like a football, like a football practice, okay. and we didn't really know each other, and then we kind of just clicked right there, and then we found out we're gonna be neighbors, and then after that we just hung out, and it's really nice because he's a real friend. He's like. He's there for me always because he's my neighbor. Uh, he's the best uh, quarterback you will play with, and he's probably better than most high school high school quarterbacks out there. And it's gonna be the ball's gonna be right on you, fast, and just right there. <laughs>
Yeah, so um, our head coach was Colton Chumley. He came, he's new to this district. Um, he's a great guy, great coach. I worked with him a lot this year. Um, we have a better connection off the field than, than like in a game, I would say, because it's just, we just clicked right away. And he, he gets my thought process a little bit and I get his, because in a certain situation of a game, I can understand what he wants to call and vice versa. So I think we have that connection, which is really important. And he's just a great guy overall but more his entrepreneurial mind, that entrepreneurial spirit um, is strong. And once he kind of takes something on, he's thinking about it, you know, how do I take this one step further? He wanted to learn to cut hair, and this boy's got a business. He's got a little shop in the garage, you know, he studied it, he works hard at it, he keeps the business going, he advertises for it, and he does fantastic. So whatever he takes on, he puts that mentality, that energy, that passion to it. Once he turns that switch on, there's no stopping him. Um, I think quarterback, people think a quarterback say, oh, you have to have a good arm, you need to be smart. But I think the most important thing is leadership. I'm really big on leadership. Um, I think as a quarterback, if you can't lead your team in certain situations, you're toast. I mean, having an arm is needed, but I mean, you need to be smart inside, on the, on the, on the field and off the field. It's very important, and I'm really big on leadership. I'm Benny Orozco, I'm Rocky's brother, and uh, my relationship with him is that uh, we're brothers, and we are best friends, and we always hang out with each other. How does your brother cut your hair? Does he cut it like his, or does he mess yours up on purpose? He, he gets me right. Uh, do you learn from him, and if so, what do you learn? Uh, yes, I do learn a lot from him. I mostly learn how to be a leader and get that mentality, be that dog. Too much before, I don't want to overthink anything. I just go through all my plays before each and every game, like warm up during school. But uh, I think on the actual game, thinking on reading the defenses, I'd go through my pre snap reads. So look at the defense, understand the play, and know what I'm looking for in a defense and what I want in the offense in the situation that I'm in. He's motivated and he's a leader. I mean, and uh, you know, the reason we do all this, you know, obviously we love ball, you know, we have a deep love for the sport, but. This is bigger than football. You know, this is about building a strong young man, someone who's going to be a great uh, father, husband, leader in the community. Um, those attributes, um, they line up perfectly with being uh, a quarterback, you know. And that's, that's what we're pushing. That's what we're striving for is, 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 is creating and um, building a strong young man, a strong leader. And uh, I think a program that's looking for that in their, in their, on their team, I mean, that's your guy. I think it was week six or seven. You had like two interceptions in the first half. It was a tough game. It was physical. 
Uh, but you rallied back in that fourth quarter uh, to throw a touchdown and run one in, man, to bring y'all back. Man, um, Raymond Phil, y'all, he's a great guy. I, w I worked more with him at school, during school, because we we're in the same school and organization at the time. But I work with him a little bit outside of school. He's helped me a lot in Texas. He's my trainer in Texas, and I grew a lot. I grew a lot with him, and he's just—he's a great guy as well. I love his son. Oh, pause. <laughs> I love his. I just love him all. Their family as well. I'm <laughs> looking at 1,800 yards. Yes, sir. Four interceptions. 20 total touchdowns. 17 in the air. Three on the ground. So, what is your I won't say go-to because you're multifaceted. Uh, what's your favorite facet on the offensive end? Is it throwing or running the ball and why? Um, I prefer throwing the ball. This year we're cut a little bit short on wide receivers. One of my favorite wide receivers, um, he was out due to um, appendix removal, but um, I enjoy throwing the ball a lot. I'm able to run, but I prefer throwing the ball. I think that I, my reads are good. Uh, he's the best uh, quarterback you will play with, and he's probably better than most high school high school quarterbacks out there. And it's gonna be the ball's gonna be right on you, fast, just right there. <laughs> Well, um, back in California about three years ago, I tr first trained with Austin and KJ. They're both brothers, both super great quarterbacks. And I didn't really know anything about quarterbacking at all. I kind of just had a decent arm. And my dad had a friend who introduced Austin and KJ to us. And I've pretty much been working with them ever since. They're great people. I work with them great. They're just amazing people overall. Not only quarterback, but also friends. They're like family. This is bigger than football. You know, this is about building a uh, strong young man, someone who's going to be a great uh, father, husband, leader in the community. And I've been playing since I was a little kid. It makes me happy. See, family loves it, I love it. I enjoy it. <laughs> 